what is new in Waldai Club discussions in this year? Uh, do you see any difference from the last year? Oh, I think that the main difference we have this year here at Valdai is that we really go global in terms of yes. the issues we do discuss. We are much less uh, than before concentrated on Russia mm -hmm. and Russian developments or even relations between Russia and the other countries. So we managed to put Russia in the wider international context and to analyze uh, wide international context, not only through the Russian prism, and not only through the prism of the Russian interests, but also with the part active participation of the leading scholars from all over the world, from China, from the United States, from Turkey, from uh, European countries, from many countries, uh, from Latin America. And I think uh, this uh, makes uh, Valdai Foundation and Valdai Conference uh, a real presidential event of the presidential level. and. Uh, a real global event. Since you're engaging very much about Eurasian uh, issues uh, and you have a special uh, session, I know, uh, in Valdai uh, discussions this year, uh, can you a little talk about your session, what you'll talk? I think uh, the main focus must be about how do we practically cons co construct the cooperation between the Eurasian nations, how we put politics into the economic practice. Now we have, we have many political achievements and we have very good political understanding, yes. especially on the Chinese-Russian level, but also with the other regional partners. So now we need to work very hard on how to beef it up yes. with, with uh, economic substance. Uh, when, for example, now we are discussing, during this session, now we are discussing the potentials of the regional economic mega groupings mm -hmm. and with a special focus on Eurasia, of what might be the most promising projects, what are the stakeholders for all these initiatives. So we address all these concrete issues already. What do you think the role of Turkey in this process? Do you uh, think that Turkey also will contribute this process, should or not? And what do you think about it? Well, uh, Turkey is one of the uh, economic leaders of the world. It's a member of G20. Yes. No, nobody doubts that Turkey has a good uh, economic future and nobody doubts that Turkey will never join the European Union. So I think it is in the interest of Turkey to be attached to the regional grouping, where at the regional integration and regional cooperation process, where the interests of Turkey are going to be respected by the other participants. Uh, and I think that in this sense, Turkey can, can contribute in the economic sustainability and in the quality of cooperation between the other Eurasian partners and uh, so far Turkey doesn't have serious disagreements with the other big Eurasian partners like Russia, China, Iran. We, the trade is okay so I, I think that uh, all Eurasian integration initiatives will be welcomed for Turkey.